Eat this shit up. Has anybody ever wondered what happened to Lil Webby? He was one of the pioneers of Baton Rouge along with Lil Boosie and one of the faces of Southern rap. He had women in the clubs proud to be independent with his top 10 hit in 2008. And he had the hood on his savage lifestyle. But his descent from stardom seemed to sizzle faster than he made a name for himself. He was here one day dropping quality street albums and then gone the next. The question is, what really happened? Here are the facts that draw a realistic conclusion. In 2009, Boosie was sentenced to two years in prison in Louisiana for marijuana possession. During his sentence, towards the end in 2011, he was sentenced to eight more years in prison for getting his hustle on behind bars, conspiring to bring drugs into a penal institution, and wasn't released until 2014. This was where his running buddy, as we all know. The two were a force to be reckoned with, not only in the South, but in hip hop as a whole, as the South was making a strong hold on the game, pumping out new artists left and right. The South had come into the fold of being dominant in the rap game, and the two were a moving part of the movement. In 2007, the world suddenly lost Pimp C. This not only was unimaginable and impactful to hip hop as a whole, but also to Webby. Boosie and Webby may not have ever been mainstream if it wasn't for Pimp C, who helped get Trill and T off the ground. This is what he said about Pimp two years after his death in December As most of us have been through some type of loss, we understand how people mourn different. Webby was clearly hurt by the passing of the Southern rap icon. In addition to Pimp dying in 2009 while Boosie was locked up, LaFette was killed June 7, 2012 in Georgia, outside of Sandy Springs Hospital as he awaited the birth of his daughter. They were extremely close to each other and he said that they did everything together but die when he eulogized his longtime friend that he considered his little brother. The Fat was also featured on Webby's biggest record, Independent. When you chronalize the sequence of events, they all were in a window of five years. Pimp died in December 2007, and Independent reached its peak chart position in March 2008. Boosie was arrested in April of 2008, before being sentenced in 2009. And while Boosie was in jail, and Pimp already gone, The Fat was killed. So musically, Webby was essentially out here on his own. His 
Both Webby and Boosie fed off each other's success as label mates. Boosie would be the one expected to put the movement on his back and carry it. Webby wasn't able to weather the storm. As music fans, sometimes we don't consider the real life situations that people go through when we think about their careers. And sometimes they're selfish of us. When you actually evaluate what somebody has had to endure while in the public eye. Although he has continued his installment of Savage Life and they've been respectable, he hasn't reached the billboard since independent. It's Hype South for Child Time TV. Until next time, peace. Eat this shit up.